It's been a long time since I worked that hard. We're gonna go from one side to the other, putting the hand on the same side down. So right side, left leg extends, left side, right leg extends. We do that once, twice and twice more, once, twice. The right hand down, we're gonna slide the right hand in front of the left foot and swap. Left hand, slide, right hand, Slide, left hand, two, and two, and one more, pam, pam. From here, like we've done before, we're trying to find our way down, so knee down, bum down, open, fittest roll, doom, do do doom, doom, do do doom. Yeah, back up. We're gonna put the left hand on the left side, left hand, slide, left knee, bum, open to the side, right side, feet us roll, and back up. One more time, we go to the right, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, sitting first, and then Exaggerating the spiral, we bring this hand far out. One, two, three, and four. Other side. Sitting first again, left hand, slide, knee and hip, roll, roll, and back up. Cool. Now the idea is obviously to not stop so long here as for the whole thing to become clunky. We want to start lowering, lowering our center of mass down as we finish sliding. So, one, yeah? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, on the fetus roll, exaggerating what the opposite hand is doing to really create this continuity as we're saying. We do a lot in floor work where we go through a straddle and there's a lot of spiral happening because we're sliding out of it. Remember that? So the idea is if I swing the right leg first, right leg extended, it's gonna swing all the way to the left side, although today won't matter as much. We're gonna slide it here, take off and land that foot first. So it goes one, straddle, foot, Foot. Of course, we don't have to freeze, but if we can, why not? Left foot, it would go left foot, whoop, foot, foot. We try that. To the left, it goes one, two, foot, foot, and one, two, foot, foot, and one, two, foot, foot, and one, two, foot. Foot, foot. Now, combining this with that, it's gonna go one, two, foot, foot. Slide, sit, fetus roll. Okay? Going to the right side. <clears throat> it goes, sorry, like this. So sliding the right foot. Five, six, seven, Eight, one, two, right foot, left foot, around, yes, two, three, four, super. Now, the clunky bit is when we land, so we wanna try to already slide. The moment you almost wanna start sliding your hands before the second foot finds the ground. Going to the right again, trying to apply that. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, foot slide and sit, yes. Around, back up, cool. 
Other side, again, same side, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, foot, slide, knee down, sit, around, yes, and here. Okay? Before we move on, let's swap the handstand with an actual hand spin. So we're gonna start with a small variation, the one where the feet stay very low. Hop, and sit. And then we're gonna move on to the higher variation where the feet go in the air, okay? So, to remember, this movement is about us bringing our hands and swapping the opposite foot with both hands. So it goes hands all the way to a 360. At the end of your 360, you're stuck in one spiral. This is where your hand is going. So if I go to the right, it goes right foot, left foot, left hand, and around. Yeah? So together, going here, it goes swap. I, so it's not a car to wheel, that's where it's confusing, yeah? The right foot lifts, this, the weight cannot transfer to the right foot. We need to keep it on the left here to swap. Okay? So we lean, swap, and then this left hand finds the floor again if you talk off. Knee down, bum down, around. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Again, same side. Six, let's try to keep the foot very low for this one. Seven, eight, one, two, slide, and around. Tim, Tim. Okay, show me one. I feel that something is happening in my side mirror, and I can't see quite yet. Okay, in your own time. Yeah. So the hand things makes more sense if you stay in the hunched variation. Right now your feet are going super high, yeah? And the pattern is kind of the same, but it's slightly different. And for the transition, you see if we go for the high one, which we're gonna go for in just a minute, we have to put the hand back down. And for that hand to make sense, it's nice to work on this one where the hands are already on the floor. So there's this connectivity here. So let's try that, yeah? Hands cannot leave the floor. Same side, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, yeah, one, two, pam, pa, pam, nice. Mox? Yep. Other side, so we're going to the left. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, right hand slide. Knee, bum, sit, and around. Two, three, four. Yeah? How do we know that we are where we want? If our belly button starts facing this wall initially, at the end of the spin and even before the hand slides, this is where it should be facing again. So here, despite it being low, I'm still back there. And then slide his hand out of the line that's between my feet. I needed to take it away for my knee to sit down, okay? All the way, yeah, and then hand down, yes, and then sit, good. Here we go. Nice. Once more each side. We can try the harder, higher variation, yeah? In which the hand is gonna lift from the ground and we're gonna put it back down. So, <clears throat> for the higher variation, we need to perform that kick initially. Instead of bringing both hands down and keeping both feet close to the floor, we're gonna lift the right foot up as the left hand replaces it here. So, and what matters, is more so from what I've seen, is for us to go in a straddle rather than a scissor. So that would be scissoring the legs, and that would be straddling the legs. 
just like we were doing in the warm-up. And the straddle is the key here. So if I keep scissoring the legs, I would accelerate on my way down. It's gonna look like this. But instead, I wanna aim for something that's more like that. I wanna bring my feet a bit further away from each other. So for now, we can start working both hands down together at the same time and just work on bringing the legs apart from each other. One and two. And foot and foot, just like the warm up. And vice versa. One and two and one and two. Okay? And then we'll go one hand at a time. See that? It went close. It sped up because they were that close. And I need them to go that far. It really feels like a struggle in the air. Yeah, yes. Big difference. Now the way down is a harder to negotiate as well. Yeah. It goes. Yeah, boom. <laughs> now we need to keep the height of the pelvis. Yeah, because like just like the straddle, if your pelvis doesn't stack over the shoulders, it kind of looks like this and pulls you down. So we need to feel that straddle position, at least for a split second, as we rotate. Yes, super. You swap a bit. You swapped a bit late, but it looks much better already. Nice. Yes. Huh? See the difference? There is no. There is a big suspension in the air. And that's from this thing. Um, and that's because, why is that? You do, so the leg that's being swung initially, if I go to the right, the right leg, eventually it has to come back down, yeah? It goes up and here, as the right leg goes down, the left leg goes up, yeah? Can you see that? So right leg goes up, right leg goes down. Just like in the monkey crawl, right leg goes up, Right leg goes down. Now, just like in a monkey crawl, if it goes down too late, you will fall harshly. So this is the apex of the ball you're throwing in the air. It goes up, 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 decelerates, stops, and comes back down. We need to have swapped the legs before it comes back down. Your pelvis is the ball. When we start going to the point where momentum is killed, we need to have swapped the legs. Otherwise, you'll be there. Does make sense? Yes! Nice one, yeah? One, two. Try both sides, of course. So you can, if you find yourself still able to maintain the straddle and losing balance, instead of coming back down, we can place the hands like once more. One, boom, boom. And it gives you an extra bit of time in the air. Now what happened here is, as we go in this thing, this cannot become the flag. And the flag was, the pelvis goes away. So we want to think that the center of this needs to stay over that spot. There. If it starts going here, away from it, then you're doomed. So now, again, this is something that takes time to refine. We're gonna try to bring one hand at a time. And again, this is gonna force us to understand this stepping motion, which eventually is gonna allow us to stay longer in the air. So, as I replace the right foot, instead of bringing both hands down, for that we need kind of a solid handstand, we're gonna bring the left hand down. The left hand, the opposite hand, replaces the foot. It goes one, and then second hand. And then swap the legs the exact same way while trying to perform a 360. So, one, two, and three. Or, one, two, and three. Okay? And you can even, for the sake of getting comfortable on one hand, try to see how long you can stay on that first hand before the second one has to go on the floor. One, two. It's uncomfortable, but it gets us stronger in that position. Now, to bring everything together, trying to go for the higher variation, it's gonna go one, two, slide, knee, and around. Yeah? 
So, going to the right side, we replace the right foot with the left hand, it goes one, right foot, left foot. Left hand slides away, left knee, bump, and around, two, three, and four. Yeah? If we go to the left, it goes six, seven, eight, one, two, three, oops, four, tam, ta, da, dum, tam, tam. Cool. From the back, going to the right, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, cool. And going to the left, was it? Going here? Yeah. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whew, eight. Start in a tripedal. Revisit the carousel. So the carousel is this move where the opposite knee from the support leg is gonna drop as we push on one hand and pivot around the foot we're sitting on, yeah? The idea, remember, is as the whole thing gets harder, we may wanna regress from pivoting 360 to pivoting just 180 or 270 until we can make it comfortably here. We're better off just doing this and going for the whole thing and falling miserably out of balance. So just to prepare the knees and remember, we're gonna go from one side to the other, going to the right, the left hand goes down, the right knee drops, and we spin. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Going to the right, right hand down, knees to the left. Yeah. Going to the left. Yeah. Going to the left. Pam. Going to the right. Nice. Let's try to stay balanced until the end. Remember that this knee here that drops creates friction with the floor and that friction allows you to balance more. It's not just your hand, it's that chin really on the floor. Okay? A bit slower. <laughs> and balanced. Nice, much better, yeah? Much more controlled. Mm -hmm. To make it sexy, we're gonna try to do the exact same thing, but keep sliding the pushing hand, the one that pushes initially. So if we're going to the left, that's the right hand, and looking at it here. That just change the whole shapes, makes you extend the spine a bit more. If I'm going to the right, that would be the left hand. It's gonna trail behind me until the end but much better looking. So we're sitting here, and as we go this way, we look there. Yeah. And so here we become beginners again, of course, because the balance is taking off the equation, so we might just revert to a 180 and then a 270 and then a 360, yeah? So going to the right, left hand, I just go 360, uh, 180, or 170, all the way to 360. Of course, this training variation is harder, so if for the sake of it, we have to revert back to this one, that's fine. At the end of this, we're gonna swap hands, like we naturally do because we fall, and open into some form of a slide. The slide is gonna look like this. One, two. So let's just see this bit for now. Starting on our back, we're gonna go lean on the left side, extend the right leg, bring the right leg up, extend the left leg. The moment the left leg takes off, we bend the right leg, okay? So we kick once, right leg extended goes up, kick twice, left leg extended goes up, we bend the right, finish the job here, okay? Mm -hmm. If we go to the left, it goes swing the left, up, extend the right, 
or bend the left. Boom. Okay? Yeah. Keep going. If we go to, yeah, you can stay where you are, to the right. Extend the right. Bend. So it's a bit different than the one we do usually. It's not pam, 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 pam. It's one, two. See, there is a correlation between these two legs. Almost, look. Right leg kicks. When this one is about to take off, this one bends. This is the key point of this movement. It's not one, two, and three. It's one, two. Yeah? When the second leg is about to take off, the first one bends. Yes. And we're gonna, one, two, go on your belly. And let's try to think about this leg here that is extended at the end. So if I go to the left, that would be my right leg as a training leg that stays off the floor and bends like a scorpion tail, a scorpion tail as we go on our belly. So one, two, three. One, two, three. To be used this way. No. <laughs> See, this leg was the one that stays off the floor. Eh? So let's do it together. And we are on the left side. We shoot the right. Shoot the left, bend the right. Go on your belly, the left stays off the floor. We extend that left hip, we bend that left knee, yeah. And from here, we are going to stop. <laughs> and go the other side. So extend the left, extend the right, bend the left, and belly right up. That's it. From here, we can yet continue turning and actually go all the way there. Yeah, why not? Yeah? Going to swing in the right first, it goes. Right, left, bend the right, whoop. Roll left up, and up here. Cool, yeah? Nice, with a knee slide. So, we were in our tripod here. We're gonna bring the front knee down. One, two, three, four. Dum, da, da, dum. Okay, super slow, super slow. Um, so, left hand down, left knee down, kick with the right, kick with the left, bend the right, around, belly, left knee down, up, yeah, cool, yeah, uh, other side, it goes right knee down, left leg, right leg, bend the left, up, and uh-huh. And going this way. Yeah, tripod. To the right. Right knee. And one, two. Up. And up. Cool. To the left. We go. Extend straight away, right two. Extend. One, two, bend, up, and up. One, and two, yes, belly, yes. Okay, what is happening here? As we turn here, both hands towards the chest so that you don't trap any hand. Yeah, you don't want any hand under your hips. So as we roll from the back to the belly, both hands go down here, and then push. Palm, one, two, whoa, whoa. The left, we push with the right hand, trail, left hand, go, right, left, and up. And push, right hand, left, right, whoop. 
and push. Yes, 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 that's it. On the side, pushing with the left hand again, going to the right. Six, seven, eight, one, right hand, whoop, whoop, and up. Nice. On the side, pushing with the right hand. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. Let's see. Pam, pa, da, dam. Uh -huh. It's not really. It is, yeah. You get a bit, um, you make your life a bit harder with this leg here because you keep it off the floor like that. When really this first leg that kicks, once it's bent, it goes on the floor. And this is the one that matters to us. Yeah? Yeah, knee down. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Now, look, the pièce de résistance. We've done the whole carousel. And, pam, and, one, two, headstand. What? <laughs> so you have this, yeah? Do you want to practice on mats? At home, you can practice on mats. This is a cartwheel in a headstand. So of course you need a handstand first. And you want to check the tutorial I have about this, if you're not quite sure. But once you have a handstand, headstand, what you be, want to be able to do is, from a squat head in a triangle from the hands, we go one leg off and here. And if that's easy, or as it gets easier, we do the same thing from a standing up position. Here. And once the head becomes a bit less sensitive, we do it with nothing. Remember, head has to stick out. The peak of our triangle, we go hand, hand, head, right foot up. And from here, we just swap the legs. Here we go. Huh? Cool. Oof. <laughs> right hand, left hand, head. And we push hard on the hands so that the head takes a minimum weight. It's almost like if we could lift the head off the floor at all times. Nice. And again, just to have a, an echo of what we did before, a big straddle in that cartwheel. So it's gonna be the exact same thing, but from a squat. We are pushing ourselves up, and from here, pump. So maybe just let's do this bit together. It means starting there, going one, two, and roll, and up. And from here, we keep going this way, hands. Hand, extend the leg we're sitting on, head step. Okay, together. Going to the left side, goes left leg, right leg, left leg bends. The tail of the scorpion, we sit, yeah, and we're gonna go this way. Mm -hmm. So from our, just like many acrobatics and flow work from this fisherman squat, we just swing this leg we're sitting on. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, up, pam, nice. Time for the grand finale. Grand finale is the two segments together. Six, seven, eight. One, two, sit, around. Here we're gonna sit in the squat. Pam! And from here, one, two, scorpion, up, pam, 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 pam. Five, 
six, seven, eight. One, two. Slide the left. Sit to the right. Back up in a squat. Push on the left, spin. Right hand, up. And right leg up. Sit on the right heel. Aha. The other side, chuk. Up. Yeah, I go for the small one, fuck that. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, slide the right, three, four, and feet us. Squat, push on the right, carousel. Left hand, around, back up, and up. Two, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Fetus. Two, up, carousel. One, two, three, four, up. Yes, two, four. Et voila. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, sit, four, one. Two, squat, and turn. One, two, three, four, up, two, headstand, four. Boom! Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Three, four, and up, two, and four.